wife actually uh, found out about this, and we, we tried to call in for the last study, weren't able to get in, waited for the next one to come up, and saw the, veg, the VegMed study was actually really interesting to me. I've been a lifelong, um, lifelong meat eater. I've, I've sometimes thought about the ethical considerations of eating meat, but, but not a lot, and this seemed like a really good chance to have experts tell me how to do this and um, really examine, I'm 60 years old, I'm worried about my health, longevity, things like that. And I'd really like to know more about um, things like the Mediterranean diet, the vegan diet, and being able to do it in a study is pretty motivating. I had already started to diet uh, just using a process of calorie restriction. I was fairly successful. I, I've actually done it before. This seemed like a healthier way um, to do that, to really, you know, have my blood chemistry looked at, as I said, under doctor supervision, and also to feel like I was getting a real grounding from people who knew how to, you know, be a part of diets like this long term. So the vegan diet I found surprisingly easy to maintain. Okay, I, I really did. Now uh, my wife and I cook. Uh, my daughter started to cook. She's 11 years old. But we were easily able to maintain it. Uh, cutting meat out from the beginning really wasn't a problem, and I thought it would be. I found that um, I didn't have to feel like I had to substitute meat. I was able just to mentally say, look, I'm just not going to eat meat. No eggs, no milk, no cheeses, no, I mean, no honey. It's an ethical stance. And um, we were able to easily do it. Now, the program helped a lot with uh, recipes and things like that. But we also, on our own, we were able to find many things that are, you know, you know really really good to eat and you know filling and satisfying if there's anything about the vegan diet that was a pitfall for me it's eating bread because I really like bread and I really ate a lot of bread on the vegan diet Mediterranean diet also easy um, the amount of olive oil didn't really trouble me I just found ways to to eat it um, one of the big things I do I did was eat a lot of farro which is a grain and um, I would just incorporate uh, the olive oil into that um, you know I would bake salmon and flake it and put olive oil in that. But the Mediterranean diet was really easy. Uh, the psychic jump of going back to eating meat was a bit of a hurdle, no, but you know, I, I'm kind of back now to, you know, I'm, I'm eating meat all the time. Going forward, I think I want to go back to veganism, and my daughter has also expressed an interest in that, so that's good. To compare and contrast the two diets in terms of weight loss and how I felt, I felt very alert on the vegan diet. I lost quite a bit of weight. I think I ended up losing about 17 pounds before the, what they called the washout period between the diets. Um, I felt very good. Uh, at the end of that, my blood work showed elevated triglycerides, and that was probably because of the low quality carbohydrates I was eating, all the bread I talked about. The Mediterranean diet, I also feel very alert. I feel very centered. I don't feel like I'm having, you know, you know, uh, blood sugar spikes or anything like that. Um, I certainly, there's no problem with feeling full or anything like that. I've lost less weight. And I think I find it easier and paradoxically to overeat. So I, I've been in the study for nine months. Now, I think my takeaway from it is that I have changed my ethical stance on using animal products dramatically, both from a personal ethic standpoint, but also from an impact on the planet standpoint. So I feel like I've been given the tools by interacting with people who are kind of in the same boat than I am, you know, the other, the other study members, but also the professional staff here who have kind of given me a lot of information through lived experience, through actual medical experience, presentations, um, you know, uh, the medical results we've been given after every test to kind of make changes in my life, being able to evaluate my own, for instance, metabolic panels, and I think significantly improved my health.